Hi everybody, welcome to a new tutorial from sound for mo It's Leo speaking. Today we are going to continue the journey on how to use uh, Terra Pro and we are going to go through the oscillators. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. Okay, so let's click on the preset name on the plus sign to create a new preset and let's call it F uh, SFM for sound for more and press enter okay as you can see there are three oscillators so one two three they're slightly different from each other so we'll go through them one by one let's go to the amp module and where it says filter one let's select only oscillator one so we have only the oscillator one visible and um, we have a sawtooth waveform that's what you hear so we click where it says oscillator one to expand that module so first thing first, you can click on the waveform and you have um, 64 waveforms to select from. So there is really a lot. But I want uh, you to pay attention to where it says custom wave. So if you click on custom wave it will say, and you exit that uh, menu, it will say custom wave there. So click and hold on the custom wave now and you have the ability now to add up to 256 partials. And if you remember add station or, pro or programs like, uh, or apps like add station, you will be familiar with that. So you can effectively draw with your finger what you like and create a sound as you please. Okay, when you finish, you can click on the waveform again. But for the purpose of this tutorial, let's use something like a sound wave. Okay, below that you have a pitch and fine. So pitch, this is where you actually change the uh, course pitch. In semitones, double click to go back to the default. Also, you can change it in cent. Okay. Of course, that is the case for the course pitch changes if you have track enabled. If you disable that, you, it goes by frequency. Okay, so just remember, uh, depending on what you like to use, I prefer to have track enabled, so I have uh, semitones, which is quite familiar. Below that, uh, we have the usual slider, which we can use to set the amplitude for the modulation, and in this case, we have LFO1 modulating uh, the pitch and of course we can have two as well uh, modulation for the pitch okay in this case we have LFO1 and ADSR3 okay so next we have the FM ratio button so if you click on it what happens is that the pitch can be set as a ratio of the master pitch here so you see 1 1 1 2 1 3 etc etc up to 117 okay so let's disable that then if you want to uh, use a unison for example if you want to create some fat uh, um so wave so let's uh, i don't know um let's do something like that so to we can enable six uh, uh oscillators on um, um, being produced at the same time or being generated at the same time <laughs> And they are slightly detuned, and the detuning is based here on uh, the spread. Let's decrease a little bit of volume. It's always quite high on Terra Pro. Okay, so that is how it works. Additionally, here you have uh, um, a PM mode for a phase modulation. Okay. So if you enable it, uh, what happens is that the waveform is added to a copy of itself, but it will uh, the copy will be shifted in terms of phase based on this dial here. And of course, you can use the slider here underneath to set the amount of modulation that uh, is modulating the phase um, dial. And in this case, it's using LFO2. <laughs> Quite nice, isn't it? Okay, now let's activate oscillator two. So we go to the amp module where it says oscillator one, we go for oscillator two. Now you will see both oscillator here. 
Okay, let's expand the oscillator too. Now it looks almost the same. It has a sync option, which allows to sync between the two. Okay, it doesn't have the unison here. Okay, still have the pitch and the fine and the two um, modulation lines for the pitch. Yes, phase modulation with uh, all the parameters. But then uh, on the right hand side, what you can do is to set a source, in this case, the oscillator one, to be a frequency modulation for the oscillator two, which is quite nice. And then and you can set the amount here, right? You can set the index here. So let's put these as a sign. And you can hear straight away if I click sync. Let's put these as a sound way as well. And it's quite interesting, I still have the phase modulation here, but I can remove that and disable it from oscillator number one. Of course, I need to have something be mod modulating oscillator one to make sense of the sync option between the two, right? So let's activate again phase modulation oscillator one. <laughs> Okay, so that is how it works. Additionally, you have a third oscillator, okay? And that it is. Let's open this one as well. And as you can see, it's very similar to oscillator two, but it doesn't have the phase modulation here, okay? So that's the main difference. Of course, you can use the mixer to bring them all together. So for example, you can say amp instead of oscillator three, you can just say mixer like so and then of course you can choose oscillator one two three as it's already selected to come inside the mix and going to uh, and then going to the amp module uh, uh, let's uh, uh, for example square couple of things to uh, remind you before I conclude the tutorial. Um, Terra Pro uses anti-aliasing in terms of algorithms, which means it can give you some crystal clear sound on the high range, but still also a fat sound on the low range itself, which um, which is really nice. So just, um, just remember that. And additionally, the phase um, modulation is quite nice because it is applicable to any waveform so you can choose for example not only square as it happens uh, for example in some other app so you can say i go for a sort of and you can still um, use phase modulation <laughs> And with the ability to choose from 64 waveforms, including also the custom wave, well, the options uh, um, are so big. And that is why this synth is really unique. It can create uh, some great, great sound. Okay, I'm going to stop here. I hope you enjoyed and uh, found the tutorial useful. See you next time. Bye.